Oh, lag. Or just get shot. Put your pistol away. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do a surprise Harrison Ford. <laughs> ah! Hello fellow YouTubers, Mac in VR here, and welcome to my channel dedicated to all things gaming in mixed and virtual reality. Today we're looking at Onward version 1.8.5 and the graphical update for the Quest 2. So let's get straight into it then, and remember, we're born to respawn. Nice up. The graphics are good on this, like, massive difference to what it was like. Oh, you shot eating, are you? Before I get into the details of the patch, the channel is growing quite rapidly at the moment, so if you enjoy the madness that is Mac in VR, please drop a like on this video and consider subscribing. It would help me a lot, thanks. Well, Onward patch 1.8.5 has dropped, and I'm going to be concentrating on what this means for Oculus Quest 2 users because obviously the Quest 2 has improved processing capabilities and Onward want to take full advantage of it. On the Quest 2 you will enjoy an improved level of detail bias, meaning you'll encounter less noticeable transitions or pop-in. All new for both PC VR and Quest 2 are the support for specular maps on weapons which improve the weapon visuals and more on that later. The developer Downpour Interactive have reintroduced custom maps and they're very pleased to be able to push this release forward to this update. So there are nine maps, and I'll talk about those later. Improved support for haptic devices. So if you're lucky enough to own a haptic vest and want to take your immersion to the next level, Downpour have added support for B Haptics body haptic devices on both PC and Quest. There you go. Equipping a haptic device and onward will allow you to feel shots hitting you and where they're hitting you. In addition to the haptic body devices, we've added support for the force tube to the Quest version of Onward. So if you have a pro tube with a force tube, this should now work out of the box. Improved visuals for PC VR. Now I know I said I was mostly going to talk about Quest 2, but I also still play Onward on my Valve Index. So update 1.8.5 brings several improvements to the game's visuals, specifically Downfall and Suburbia nighttime maps, because basically the last patch broke them. Um, I don't know what they did to the lighting, but they were just too dark, even with your night vision on. And with the Volk wearing black, it was doubly difficult. <laughs> now I haven't had a chance to play this on the Valve Index yet, but hopefully, fingers crossed, they've fixed that. So the known issues are, the first floor tower windows in Downfall are too high, the interiors in Downfall and Bazaar are too dark in places. The lighting change in Quarantine Day might be a bit too dark. M249 and PKM box magazines don't have correct colliders. Password lobbies aren't able to change the round timers. And when trying to grab the syringe, sometimes you might unintentionally grab the pistol. One of the other things that should be on that list is fix <laughs> ammo boxes, please. Anyway. So now we're taking a look at the specular maps which are applied to the weapons. This is my AK-74U, looking very, very nice. And that's the 5.7. I must admit, these visuals are a massive improvement. So there's the G3A3 support, the box mag and the times 2 scope. Looks really, really nice. And here, they've also got custom skins depending on which map you're on. So Old Town is a snow map, so you've got snow camo for that weapon and snow camo for this weapon, your 1911, with a silencer and a laser. So this is Fallen Isle, so this is the SVD. Look at the detail on the wood. And that's the little Makarov, little pea shooter. So that's the Mark 17 um, from the Sniper class with the Times 2 scope. It's one of my favourite weapons. And there is the Glock with a laser. G36, unfortunately don't have the see-through um, magazines like they do in the PC version, but yeah, it still looks pretty good. And that is the um, stun gun. Again, another sniper rifle. Look at the detail on the wood, it's absolutely brilliant. PKM, looks down and dirty, looks really good. So let's talk about the nine maps. They are Outlet, Old Town Day and Night, Sand, Last Stand, Office, Night Shift, 
Shipyard and Fallen Isle. So we'll go through the maps in a bit more detail. This is Outlet, basically an abandoned mall, and it's absolutely massive. And it's also on two levels, which obviously doubles its size. It's very, very easy to get flanked because there are so many doors, stairs, escalators. It's, it's a really challenging map. Great fun though. And there's also a section where you, you have to use your night vision to get around because it's quite dark. So yeah, good map. I like this one. Okay, Old Town is a bit of a funny one. Um, there's a day and night map, but on Hunt, there's no enemies. So I just had a quick run around. It looks quite basic. Um, yeah, not a big fan of this one. So this is Sand, and this gives it a definite CSGO vibe. And it also reminds me a little bit about Bizarre. It's a walled town with lots of doors to get through and a little marketplace in the center. It's a really, really tough map, this. I like it a lot. Lots and lots of corners, lots and lots of places you can get flanked. One of my favorites. There's a warehouse in the middle there. This is Last Stand. It's a bit of a strange one, this, um, because basically it's just a place for snipers to practice. So you get up under the tower and the enemies walk towards you very slowly and then you shoot at them with sniper rifles. Uh, yeah, I'm not a sniper, so not for me. This is office, tight corridors, short lines of sight, perfect for using SMGs, which I think are underused in the game. So the P90 and the MP5 get a chance to really shine in this environment. I quite like this one. Now this is night shift. Now initially I thought this was office but <laughs> at night, but uh, it isn't. It's actually a completely different map. Um, similar kind of layout, short lines of sight, tight corners. Um, yeah, it's, it, there's a bit of, it's a bit broken because the enemies clip through some of the doors and objects, but um, I'm sure that'll get fixed soon. So this is Shipyard, a very nice looking map. On Hunt, though, it appears to be broken, so if you pick 64 or 128 enemies, it only seems to spawn half of them, and then you can't finish the game. So hopefully that'll get patched soon, but yeah, this is a good map. I like this one. Lots of verticality. And I've kept the best till last. This is Fallen Isle, or as we like to call it, Skyrim Island, because it reminds us of that RPG. Basically a small island in the sea, covered with ruins, with really long open sight lines. So basically, if you're playing Hunt, as soon as you spawn, you, you get engaged. Um, yeah, it's, it makes it quite hectic and a really, really good amount of fun. So I really like this map. So overall, that's patch version 1.8.5. Um, improves the visuals on the Quest 2, a few bug fixes. Yep, very, very happy about this uh, patch. So that's it for today. I'm going to leave the Fallen Isle gameplay playing in the background, me and Jamie taking on 64 enemies. Feel free to share this content, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload any new content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side. Famous last words ring in my ear. Shall we sprint left? <laughs> oh, there's an ammo box here. We can just stay here. Are you dead? In fact, you'd be dead on the uh, right. You might be. Coming up. Ammo box here. Yep. Ammo box Run. here. Ah, nice. Right, I'm gonna get some mags. Right, I'm ammoed up and mad. Reloading. Yep. Back in. Jesus. 
Gordy's gone, man. No, I didn't. I thought I had. Yep, yep, yep. I'm pretty good if you want to drop back. <laughs> <laughs>